Well, it's Friday morning, Gate City, and I want to talk to you about a very serious topic this morning. Uh, all of us are aware of what has happened uh, in our country, in Minneapolis, with the uh, unwarranted death of George Floyd and the aftermath that has ensued because of the injustice that is uh, being laid bare before our eyes of how he was treated. And I just want to caution us first and foremost, let's not lump everybody into one category. There are a lot of people who are angry with police officers today. And I want to tell you, and I have many friends who are police officers, we have police officers in our church. And by and large, as in any group of people, there are many that are good, but sometimes there are few that are not. And those few do not determine for the whole what kind of people they are. Because that is really what brought us to this moment. That's what racism and bigotry is all about. When we try to apply a certain characteristic or nature to a group of people that is unwarranted and unjustified, just because there are a few that may cause problems. And my heart breaks today because this event brings back uh, real memories for me. Uh, when I was in high school, when one of my friends who was black was shot to death by a police officer simply for carrying a stick. And I still have those memories. Uh, I still remember looking at the spot where he was shot. I still remember his memorial service. I remember how, uh, how wrong it was and how much my heart ached for the injustice that went on that day. And so those memories are flooding over me this morning. And you can't stay silent as Christians because God calls us to stand up against injustice. God calls us to seek justice. In fact, three times in, in Proverbs today, uh, chapter 29, he speaks about justice. In verse 4, he says, By justice a king gives a country stability. In verse 7, he says, The righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. We are the righteous. We need to care about justice. It also says in verse 26, Many seek an audience with a ruler but it is from the Lord that one gets justice. And that reminds me of the real truth here and what we as Christians need to be doing. Not only should we stand in solidarity against any kind of racism whatsoever. God does not tolerate racism. God is a God of equality. Jesus died on the cross for every person on the planet. And our love and our concern should extend to every person on the planet, regardless of race, color, creed, nationality, gender, whatever it is, we stand for everyone because Christ died for everyone. But if we think we're going to find real justice by running to our rulers and asking them to fix everything, that's not where it's found. Real justice is found in the Lord. This should push us as Christians to stand for what is right, to open our eyes to the reality that there is much in this world that needs to be corrected, and that the solution to this world's problems is not found in a law, it's not found in a court. It is found in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it should embolden us to share the message of Jesus with the world, the message that every life matters, the message that justice is important to God, the message that we as Christians stand arm in arm with our brothers and sisters every day, because that's who we are. So today I ask that you would stand in solidarity with each other and cry out to God for justice and ask that he gives us the courage today to stand up for what is right, no matter what. Guys, I know it's a serious day and it's a serious time. My heart is hurting for our country. My heart is hurting for the families who've been affected. And I ask that you pray. I ask that you lift up this whole situation to our Lord Jesus Christ, the only one who can bring about true justice. God bless you. Have a good day.